Challenge accepted. It is slippery as... <laughs> oh well. Hey guys, Submoto here. Um, so yeah, so uh, it's been a while. Uh, and I, I kind of took the, the month of December off. Um, without telling anyone, of course. Sorry about that. But the uh, reason for that is, um, if you remember my last video, I've been totally concentrating on this uh, application process for the, uh, the university, for, like uh, music university. But uh, point being, um, I quit my job. I did. I quit my job, and uh, my last day is on the 31st of January. So these are the last few days. Let's see if I if I um, sacrifice my life riding in the snow to get to a job that I really don't give a crap about. Oh, see, this is a lot better. They salt it here. See, I can actually ride here. Oh yeah, and my bikes, the SR500, um, still same problem, I haven't really had the time, uh, or, um, I mean, I looked at, at the spark plugs a bit, and it didn't have spark, so, um, but there's still a couple of things that I need to do, uh, and suggestions that I need to go through, I just haven't had the time at all, um, to be, to be honest, because I've been doing this whole application process, and I'm going in for an audition on the 15th of January, which is like next Friday, and I'm going to perform couple of songs live, one of which I I decided to upload on the Substereo channel. Um, it's the most recent video, just me on the piano. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. At least, you know, it's my, it's my best. And that, yeah, I can only do my best, right? So um, we'll see how, how it goes. But I'm pretty confident. So anyway, so uh, yeah, for New Year's, I went to London. So I spent New Year's and, well, about a week uh, up to New Year's uh, in London at uh, Notting Hill. <laughs> Fancy pants, but it was uh, it was pretty cool. But one of the things I did while I was over there was I went to visit, because um, I go to London a lot, uh, but I just realized, I said, you know, I've never, I mean, I suppose it's, 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 it's all new, but I decided to go and check out the bike shed. Right, and uh, it was it was something that I've been wanting to do for a while because you've seen all the pictures on the internet and you've been following them on Facebook. And the bike shed is like a really if you don't know what the bike shed is, it's like a really big deal. Um, they've been really good at, at uh, you know posting pictures of uh, of new bikes and uh, just basically pulling the the cafe racer community uh, together. And um, and making all these events and stuff, and then one day they decided they said, "Hey, wouldn't it be cool if we had like a store um, that sold uh, cafe racers or stuff um, next to a cafe and a barber shop and a restaurant?" And and so they did, and they found this place in uh, in London, and and the concept is absolutely amazing. I. I I've, I've loved it from the start, from, from when I started seeing pictures of it. I was like, man, I want to do that so bad. I wish I had had the money. And the investment, the investment they must have made on this um, must have been tremendous. So um, so I went there uh, with my girl, and we had, uh, we had dinner there. When I got there, I was amazed at, you know, the concept of like, actually being there. You know, kind of like starstruck. Um, seeing, having seen all the pictures and everything, and then finally being there, and uh, you know, I think it's it's completely new. It's been there for I want to say like four months now, something like that, um, maybe more. I'm not sure, but um, it, it's got a ways to go. I wish, I wish after having been there for a while, um, you know, we ordered some food, and the, the food was, uh, you know, I guess the food could have been better, but I just wish there was more bike stuff like I imagine I imagine walking into like a motorcycle hard rock cafe kind of thing like I kind of wish that that was the case here I wish there were like pictures of stuff and stuff hanging on the walls and just like because when we were sitting there eating like apart from the motorcycle that was parked next to me 
there was actually not really anything to indicate that that was a motorcycle place. And you wouldn't expect that from the pictures, but um, but that is actually the case. We look. I looked up and I said, you know, if that motorcycle weren't there, I just there would be no way I would. If someone just put me here, like on Google Street View, I would have no idea this was a motorcycle place. So, um, but uh, but yeah, and and anyway, but I realize it's it's new concept, and there's a lot of things, and they're trying to balance uh, balance the fact that they want. Um, you know, they don't want to alienate anyone. I'm going to have to make a little maneuver here because I've got cars behind me. So I'm going to stop here and I'm going to turn because it's going to be freaking slippery as fuck. Uh. Um, so yeah, so they don't want to alienate anyone. And that's uh, that's really important that they don't. So it's, it's, I, I realize it's a, it's a juggling act and it's something that they need to hone in on. But, um, you know, all in all, I want to say it was an awesome experience being there. Awesome experience seeing the bikes that they did have there. And, um, you know, apart from the food and, uh, and, and that kind of, you know, and the decor, I think that the idea just has so much potential. It's just so cool. And uh, I definitely want to go back uh, in about... I'll say half a year maybe, and uh, and see um, and see if it's uh, if it's changed if it's gotten any uh, more motorcycle ish. Oh man, I should have put on my cover. Now the seat's wet. Crap. Oh well. Anyway, so um, so that's my opinion of the bike shit. I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, I will definitely, definitely. Don't get me wrong. I will definitely recommend you go into the bike shed and checking it out because it is something it's a milestone uh in the motorcycle motorcycle community cafe racers and trackers and everything go check out their bikes support them and do everything you can to help them uh make this a bigger thing you know makes this something that that we'll see more and more of in the future because um it's definitely worth it so definitely go there for some drinks and uh hang out there and talk to the owners and talk to the people there. Uh, people are friendly um, at the bike shed. And check it out if you're in London and see what the hype is all about. Anyway, I made it. I'm alive. I didn't even fall. Can you imagine that? Uh, so anyway, oh, last few days. Oh. <laughs> anyway, remember to subscribe and ride. And I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.